Inside a Wapan prison cell. They don't get out, no visits. Is Joanne Gray's son, Marcus Patrick. Can you imagine a human being being in a cage, what, 24 hours a day? That's wrong for five months. The prison does not allow visitors. Inmates say they're locked in their cells for 24 hours each day, getting out for one shower each week and maybe some recreational time. They said it's nasty in there and it is species on the walls. I haven't seen it, but I, I believe my son. Gray speaks to her son by phone whenever she can. My son crying out, that's what I, that's what I feel. But what can I do? but pray. They get worse treatment than an animal or a dog. Another Milwaukee parent looking for answers is Frank Lockett. You feel like your son's not getting his basic human rights. He ain't getting it, no, basically no. He ain't getting no human rights. McMath himself calling 12 News describes what he's experiencing inside Wapan. 24 hours a day, 24 hours, never come out. Like a lot of guys, you know, it's literally um, stressful. For a lot of guys, he's still in suicidal. Typically, McMath, Patrick, and others are allowed to move freely more often in the prison. And while inmates call it a lockdown, the Wisconsin Department of Corrections calls what's been going on since March modified movement. McMath is in Wapan for trafficking of a child and prostitution, something his dad disputes, but says his son should not be treated like this. They locked up. That's enough to pay a patient back for what the crime they did, not to go there to get mis mistreated. Gray's son, Marcus Patrick, is in the prison for gun and drug charges. You do wrong, you pay your uh, punishment, but don't under over punish. Attorney Lonnie Story represents a few inmates and plans to file a class action lawsuit. A lot of uh, inmates have stated that they were not getting the medication that they were supposed to. There was an escalation in self-harm there, as well as attempted suicides and complaints of a desire to commit suicide. DOC says medical care is being provided, adding no inmates have harmed themselves due to the modified movement. They just died, locked you up and threw the key away. A spokesperson tells 12 News the modified movement was due to assaults on staff members and inmates in the prison. The state denied multiple requests for interviews with prison leadership, but Governor Tony Evers tells 12 News the situation is connected directly to a lack of staff. It is an area that is just hard to find more workers. And so we're going to continue doing it. I know we've made a good start, but you know, do we like the, what is happening there now? Absolutely not, but it's, it's, it's directly related to that. A quick, so. quick follow-up if I can, Governor. The DOC said it was because of inmate on inmate assault and inmate on staff assault, but you say it's because of workforce? Well, those things are a result of that. You know, we, we're trying to keep people safe by keep think, you know, because there isn't enough people working there to keep them in, the, in ways that that doesn't happen, but that, that's a direct result of not having enough people. Questioned by state senators recently, DOC Secretary Kevin Carr said Wapan is operating with about half of the staff it should. I believed increased wages were necessary to compete with private sector positions and to make a career in corrections more appealing. Last week, we had some of the largest numbers of potential new hires since my arrival. Attorney Story says he believes there is a fix. If it is that bad for that facility and manpower shortage, then there's a remedy and it's called the National Guard. You believe it's gotten that bad in there that we need to send National Guard troops in? I know that they have that remedy. That's for the Department of Corrections to decide how bad it is. A DOC spokesperson says restrictions can be lifted when it can be done so in a way that's safe for everyone at the facility. Meantime, families and inmates want better conditions. And everybody's supposed to be treated equal. They're not dogs. You feel like your son's being treated like a dog? Worse than a dog. Both families tell 12 News investigates the punishment, especially what the inmates are facing inside these walls with the lockdown and potential lack of medical care just doesn't fit the crime. In Wapan, I'm James Stratton, WISN 12 News.